In this video, I'm going to explain the status graphics feature of HS3. And uh, to do so, first of all, go to the device management page. You can do that by clicking either the, the home button up top here or going to view device management. On the device management page will be a listing of your devices. I'm displaying two right now that happen to be lights that are installed in my office. There is a um, uh, overhead light, which is a, a simple Z-Wave binary device. Uh, either has two states, either on or off. And then there's a multi-level device, which is a dimmer that I've got in the office. And if you look at the page in the status column, you'll see I have a status graphic, which is represented by a light bulb here. And I have status text, which can be uh, on or off. Or in the case of this one, I can also set um, a dim level if I'd like, uh, like so. Now if you drill into the detailed information for either of these devices and then go to the status graphics tab, you'll see up top is the status text area. Um, and we've got two entries here for my overhead light. There's on and off, which are um, associated with the value of 255 or zero. Likewise, at the bottom of the page here, we have graphics which are also representing on and off um, visually and they're, they too are tied to 255 and to zero. In the Z-Wave universe, 255 is the correct value which is generated by the device to represent on and same thing with zero uh, for off. If you have other devices like X10 devices for example, your numbers may be different. It might be 100 for on and zero for off. If it's a multi-level device, there may be many values. Anyway, if I wanted to make a change here, um, I, I could certainly do that. I, I could change the graphic that's being represented here that represents on uh, or off, um, or I could also change the text. It's pretty easy for me to change the text, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, just to show what you can do here. So instead of on, let's say I want to be a bit more verbose than that and say, uh, yes, I'm on, and then for off, I'll change that to no, I'm not on. Okay, go ahead and click done. When we go back to the device management page, you'll see uh, the text is automatically changed here. So yes, I'm on. Uh, if I were to turn the light off, notice over here the buttons also have changed. Uh, they've become yes I'm on and no I'm not on buttons. So if I click no I'm not on, it'll turn the light off in my office, which it just did, and now it says no I'm not on. So with that one simple change, uh, I have affected the buttons and I've affected the text here. Um, if I go a little further into the program, I'll see that I've also affecting the events too. So if I go into the event area and uh, create an event, I'll add an event up top, put it in a test group. Here's my event now. Um, Mark's video example for status text, like so. And if I go down to here and I say for my trigger, a device's value uh, changes and becomes, and in this menu, I scroll and find my overhead light, which is right there. Watch what happens. It changes and becomes, yes, I'm on, or no, I'm not on, okay? so. I can, uh, in this menu, select Yes, I'm on, and that now uses that value in the event that I have just created. And that's how it works.